What's up guys, welcome to episode 55 of Tuesday Tips. We're back with a couple more quick cycle setups when you're on your last th four edges. Um, this week will actually be your last three edges, which is just a subset of last four edges. So that's kind of a quick intro. This is going over cases where you have edges in uh, these, the last three edges in these three spots when you're holding the cube like this. Um, why would you get to that scenario? Pretty simple. Um, a very common last four edge case is you get to see, oh, you're here. And you have an edge set up like orange and blue right here, which is a quickly solved with rotation, M, U2, M prime. Really fast, really easy. Always recommend just going straight and doing those free edges right there. And you're here and you have um, three edges in this configuration. And these, these cases and algorithms are extremely simple and short. And really, honestly, they're not advanced at all. They're really obvious for anyone if you even thought about it at all. I just noticed that when I was getting, I was... Like for a long time, it's really easy to fall into bad habits, such that you may have figured out when you were a slower cuber than now that you're better, you just kind of do it because it's automatic and you never really thought about it. Um, for example, like when I would get to this case, even when I was sub 145 on six by six, I would see this, I'd rotate, I'd pull the back edge out. If I wanted to do, if I wanted to do a cycle for the last three, I would really rotate and pull the back edge out, which is incredibly slow and a huge waste of time. I might just never, and it's like really obvious if you think about it, this is a bad idea, but it's just something that you don't think about and you can get stuck in a bad habit. So this is kind of just like telling you like as an alert, don't do these things, make sure you're doing them better. I'll go over the quickly, the four cases. Um, again, really simple. Uh, case one, you want to cycle these two edges and you don't need a flip. So all you got to do is you go F and then you have the cycle set up right here and the next edge is on top. So really simple, obviously. There, um, case two is when you want to cycle these two edges and you do need a flip. Um, so you want to cycle red, yellow here. You go U prime, F, R prime. And then we have the cycle set up right here and the last edge is on top, ready to cycle. So the next case is when you have the two edges you want to cycle are on the U face here and you don't need a flip. So you go F2, U2, F. And once again, we're ready to cycle. Um, piece right here. So pretty simple there again. The last case is when you have the two edges you want to cycle are on top and you do need a flip. So you go F prime, R, U, R prime. And then we are once again set up for a cycle to solve right there. Um, again, super simple stuff. Probably a lot of you already use this stuff. Maybe you've noticed it. Just kind of an alert for if you're a faster solver, you really need to make sure you're not doing these really inefficient things that like you practice for hours and hours to drop a second on average on your edge pairing, but when you can just drop a second by doing something so basic just as this, because you just forgot that you haven't, um, you never really kind of changed from your bad habits from when you were a slower cuber. So uh, that's it for episode 55. I hope uh, it helps someone out, and I'll see you guys next time.